Hey guys, what is up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming and I'm playing on the server. And today, you get to see that I had a creeper blast. Good old creepers. I guess that's the only bad thing about making your house out of snow. If a creeper blows up, he about to destroy everything that you even have. And so, yeah, so let's fix this. And so, yeah, and so what? So let's fix this as we talk a little bit. And so hopefully you guys are doing just great. I'm doing just fine myself. I actually just got done recording. Whoa, stuck in the anvil. Stop it. Whoa, stop. Just got done recording a Pixelmon episode. And I started that series. I forgot. Enchanting tables are a little bit lower, so you can't jump up. I um, just started that series. And so if you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely should. It is a lot of fun. And I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Even though I completely just like get destroyed by some of these higher level Pokemon. But it's okay. Because I will get my reve I will get my revenge on them, on my them for me, on me for getting their revenge and being mean to me. And you look, we put our guy up here. Would I just say Nook? I meant look. We put our guy up here on top of an emerald, a block, because he is very valuable to this house. Without him, we would not have walls. And so he should be high held in high esteem. But he is still our prisoner, so he'll have to just get over that and just be happy that he's on an emerald. Maybe I'll put some friends of his up here or something. And so, yes, Pixelmon, you should definitely go check it out because it is a good time. And even if you don't like Pokemon, you should still check it out anyways because it is a fun Minecraft mod. Tons of fun. And, yeah, you should just check it out. Plus, that will just make you even more awesome than you already are. And I'm, oh my gosh, I'm wasting these snow blocks. Stop at the waste. Okay. Let's just do this here. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I might have to get some more. Yeah, that creeper, he must have been on the roof. Because I think I was I was climbing up here or something and standing here and he blew up like this whole corner. Like the madman that he is. So, yeah, let's just do this for now. That way, just don't have any unwelcome visitors coming through there. We'll worry about, about, worry about that more later. And, boop. In today's episode, I want to make our weapon... Where did this one come from? Where are these snow blocks just coming into my inventory from? That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I think... Yes. Is that like this one? Is that how this one is? Yes. In the ladders. Okay. We're going to we're gonna make our weapon of choice today. I've been spending a lot of time enchanting. A lot of time enchanting. Um, more than the average person probably does. What? Some really weird stuff's happening with my blocks. Really weird stuff. My internet connection was being a little bit weird beforehand, so maybe it's like freaking out a little bit. Okay, are we are we good? Are we good? Does that work? Yeah, it works. Okay. Did it did it fall off? Whoa. Whoa. Extreme lag. Okay, I'm gonna relog. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I definitely think that was a on my end um, because my internet connection went out just before I actually did this, and that's because of that stupid anvil. What? Whoa. I think my internet connection still might be being weird because I'm getting no particle effects off the torches. But then again, I think I turned particles off <laughs> for my other episodes. So hold on. Let me go turn them on. Particles, yeah. I had them off. Okay, here we go. Now we have particles again. Very nice. What was I saying? Oh, yes, our weapon. So, as I've said before, I don't want to use a sword in this series. So, get out of here, sword. I don't want you anymore. I want to use an axe. And so, it's not in here. Also, I found a lot more diamonds. Yes. That fortune pick. Uh, that's not it. Fortune pick. Very good. Already took three of the diamonds. He enchanted and got silk touch one, which is actually pretty good. But it didn't come with anything else like efficiency or anything. But he actually wanted fortune. So, I told him he could borrow mine if he ever finds any diamonds. But we have the silk. He gave me the silk touch pick, but really we're just going to share it. Um, but yeah. So here we go. Diamond axe. I'm going to put this book on it. Sharpness five. Un efficiency two at unbreaking one. I don't have any more unbreaking books. I can always add to it later. But this is going to be my weapon of choice. And this will last me definitely past the 1.8 update. So repairing it in an iron anvil will not be a problem. And so it's already... Sharpness 5, I mean, come on. And efficiency 2, that's just for if I do need to use it, like, um, in a cave or a mine shaft. Oh, yeah. 
for in a mine shaft if I need to like clear some stuff if I don't have an axe with me. But for actually like chopping down trees, if I would have the tree farm going uh, down here, if I'd have a bunch of trees, I'd use an own my own dedicated axe. I wouldn't use this. Um, I might just get an iron axe and put efficiency on it. And actually, let's do that right now. We could probably... Um, I'm still getting a little weird, a little bit of lag. I'm still pretty sure it's on my internet end though, not the server. Where's, where is the crafting table? I hope my internet like fixes itself here soon because I'm getting tired of dealing with this lag. Okay, let's see what's in here. Efficiency, blah, 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 efficiency two. Efficiency five, wow, where did that thing come from? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot I built it up. I have a lot of books. Aqua Affinity like times 50 of them. Sharpness 2. I have two Sharpness 2. I should make that into a Sharpness 3. I'm not really, not yet though because I don't really need that. I might give that to Artie. Um, power 3. I already have a Power 2 bow. I might start a bow new and put Power 3 on it. Uh, so for some tech, protection, there's another Power 2. More protection, there's another Power 3. Wow, two Power 3s. Um, efficiency, another Power 3. Wow. So let's put two Power 3 books together. How much is that going to cost us? Oh yeah, power four. So now we have a power four. How much did that cost us? Seven to do that? Okay, maybe we can do that another one of them. Then we'll have two power four books and then we'll put it on our bow. We'll have a power five bow. Maybe I can find a flame or an infinity bow somewhere, like in a dungeon or something. You never know. So let's actually put this axe away. Uh, not in that chest. Wow, we have so much stuff. Horse armor. I need to do something with all those horses too. Um, hmm. This, this, that goes in the crap chest. We don't need record discs. Okay. And I know books and stuff, this isn't all necessarily junk. And I saw Artie, he put this lay other crap. Because I just had this as other crap. He put the lay on there. Artie, I see what you're doing. You can't sneak around me. Artie actually wasn't feeling good last time I talked to him. He had like the stomach flu or a flu in general. That's like super lame. But hopefully he's feeling better now. Okay, we don't want to rotten flesh either. Um, snowballs. Soon enough here, I'm going to revamp this whole inventory thing. I think I might just make like an inventory area, like chest, stack chest up alongside the walls, double chest maybe. Like I do in my single player world, except for just stack them here and not make like a huge section for it. Because I don't think I'm going to need as much on here. Um, so I'll make this half of it for storage, um, then enchanting, and then I'll do something upstairs. And I think I might put a third layer on. I don't know. This anvil is giving me all kinds of problems. I don't know if I'm going to put a third layer on or not. Let's take a look. That's with the second layer. Should I put a third layer on? It would go right here. And it would go like that. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Let's go. I don't have a roof on it, but that's okay. Let's go up here. Already also built this. I really like this the way this tower looks. I'm not going to lie. I really like the steps. And also we went to the nether. Um, did I show that in an episode? I don't know. But we didn't go exploring yet. Um, I put a T on there just for funsies. I'm actually probably, he said I can decorate this and really theme it however I want. So I think I might just do some stone and uh, brick combinations. But I like this little path thing. You just walk right on up and it's just stairs. Here we go. It's fairly quick. I decided, I made the call on the iron bars. I, you know, I suggested it and he think they look good and I think they look good too. Um, so put the iron bars in and then you just go up and here you go. Okay, that's what it looks like from here. I don't know. I might put a third level on, but I think I like it just with two. Hmm. Because I don't want to go overboard with it. And I think what I want to do is make like extend it over here, like make a passageway, maybe at the top, like a little bridge type of area and then like a column going down that's like an elevator or ladders that go down to the same level that the farm is on because right now i just have ladders on the side of a hill and that looks kind of lame and plus it could be also used to go down to the bottom of the um, crater which we're digging out and i'll show you guys a perimeter of that here in a little bit but i want to check out my house from across the old uh bridge area and yeah already has been working on this he has this area a little bit mapped out and like I said, he hasn't been on for a few days because he hasn't been feeling too good. But I think it... Okay, maybe if I put the bridge on the second level, like a little, like a corridor area. You know what I'm talking about. Like between buildings in the city, they have like 
Um, like say here's a building and here's a building. And then they have like these intersecting bridges but that's like encased in glass and stuff. I think I want to do one of them kind of and then put a column going down. But if I do that, I think then I will put another level on top. That way it just balances itself out a little bit better. I'm not entirely, completely, 100%, absolutely, positively sure. I'm going to leave that there for Artie. He's going to think, what does that mean? What does that stand for? It just stands for dirt. So, And these H's keep getting put on here because of the torch placement. And so let's go down. Uh, hut, hut, hut. Here you go. Oh, stuck. Oh, here we go. Very good. And poor Artie, he keeps going mining, but he finds absolutely no diamonds. And I found 25 on my last trip because of my fortune pick. But he just is an unlucky guy when it comes to the diamonds. He just cannot catch a break. And so hopefully he finds some soon. So I need to take a drink. Uh, good stuff. Water. The thirst. Wait, no, not the thirst. The drink of champions. Okay. And so let's... What I was talking about with this passage, let's go over here. Okay. <clears throat> Do I have a shovel? Oh, I don't. What for lame stuff is this? I think I might start to make a diamond tools, like a diamond shovel, um, like a diamond regular work pick, the one that doesn't have fortune. Um, I might just make that efficiency pick. I don't know. What's better, you guys? Having like a fortune pick with your efficiency or having your own dedicated fortune pick because for me i think having a fortune pick that's dedicated to fortune would just be better like fortune and unbreaking three fortune three would be a good pick um efficiency four is just a bonus but i don't want to use that like whenever i'm just doing regular work so i think i might make an efficiency four pick um or efficiency five because i have that book an efficiency five pick and maybe like unbreaking two on it or something because I just want like a good work pick that I don't have to feel bad about using because I feel bad about using my uh, what you call it uh, fortune pick yeah okay but yeah I think it's about time to get into all diamond tools I mean we have thirty one and tired of getting shovels all the time so let's go over here hey guy. And I'm definitely not going to use shovel or diamonds or shovel or diamonds, iron or diamond shovels with this. Cause I mean, it just, you can do this with a wooden shovel if you want to. Okay. Um, okay. Would it, we just do like a three by three area and then we would dig it out and then we would put the half slabs here okay and then um oh this is just snow so yeah let's go with dirt <laughs> this dirt is this dirt no let's go with these okay stick with the stone and snow combination we got going here Okay, and I want to go to about above where that flat area is right there. So if we take it out to this far, we need some, oh, nope, we need some more regular stone. And I should have a ton of that. I have no shortage of stone in this series because we're digging out the crater. And I forgot, I said I would show you that, so I will. So let's, I'll finish this little thing here and then we'll go down and look at that. Hopefully I don't forget. Okay, yes, 64 will be more than enough for now. Okay, let's let us go. Okay. And I don't know if I'll change the inside of this if I'll I don't know. And then make this. And then we might I might connect his bridge to this. I don't know. I want to make it all like interconnected, like a highway. Okay. So what block is this? We're kind of, let's, can we drop something and see where it lands? I can't see where it lands. Okay, so I think we're kind of there. Maybe one more. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think, I think I'm at these blocks right here. And I can always clear that out and adjust. Um, and so what I would do is... Um, 
go like this. I This is just completely rough draft at the top of my head. I haven't thought about this other than what I'm doing at all yet. Okay. Um, three. And then like this. And then I'll make a, a some kind of thay, way to thay, way what? To get down. And so let, I don't want to fall, I'll die so bad. What what number is this? Okay, we're standing right here. Um, 66 and 59, 66 and 59. So I just need to go down. Ooh, whoop. To 66 and 59. Man, yeah, these ladders are not helping me at all. 66. 57, 58, oh man, right here. Oh yeah, that's the corner of this, okay. Um, and so that would go one, two, three. Is it four, one, two, th no, it's five, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, and then that's a three by three in the middle, isn't it? And that should be, that should be it right there. So, yes. It shall be it, and it shall be so. So, let's just do this. Bup, 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 bup. Okay. That way we have the area, so we just need to build up with that. I'll do that off camera, but we have our setup for it. And so, I'll put, uh, blah, 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 I can't say words. I'll probably put some support beams, maybe one there and one there, maybe just like a diagonal one going out or maybe like going from here to there and then to the side of that. I think I might do that. I don't know. Got to think about it. And so I've also been digging on the perimeter of this whole area. Um, decided that well, from here, like all around this, this whole area here where it's like down there, um, around there, kind of go with the contour of the land, and around here, around this corner, over here, hey sheep, over here, around here, under the trees, and straight across, and then you guys have seen most of this over here, we're doing some TNT blowing up there, um, and then along this contour too, and I think sooner or later, like I don't know how many more levels we'll go down, I'm digging like here, and then lower two down here, or whenever we're going to just drop it straight down. Um, I th eventually I want to, I think I'd like to drop it straight down, but I got to talk to Artie and see what he thinks. Cause I think just like straight down, um, not just completely like straight walls. We can have some stuff sticking out, but I think having like a pretty like abrupt fall would be look pretty cool. And then we'll have the bridges and stuff intersecting like the mines. Where did you come from guy? Let's try out my sword or my ax. No, you'll die anyways. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. Let's go down and check the spawner. Or the uh, slime area. I hear some. Okay, slimes. Still have not figured out where they're spawning at. Yeah, I shouldn't be using that on there. Actually, yeah, I can use it on the big guys. But on the small guys, it's useless. I'll use my shovel. Okay. Up, 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 up. And I know I don't have looting on this axe. I don't think I really want it. I might get my own looting sword um, that I use for like whenever I'm at the farm. But uh, these guys, where are they spawning? They were walking this way. And so are they, they have to be spawning. Maybe they were spawning in here. I'm going to dig some of this out. Artie's been putting some stone down here just to like give it some more structure. And like he's building some underground paths. But I told him I was trying to find where these guys are spawning. But if they were spawning in here... Uh, I kind of want to rip this all out and see if they spawn in. And so, yeah. Still haven't located them directly. Oh, look, gold. Hello. But if we can just get a decent amount spawning, we don't have to be, like, super efficient and get a ton spawning. But since there's no swamp anywhere nearby here, um, just getting some to spawn would be very, very good. And so we'll see if this is the area, maybe the chunk that they're spawning in. Because if it is, that'd be really nice. Oh, look, more gold. Very good. And I have more stone than I know what to do with. It's just ridiculous. Do I have torches? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's just dig that out a little bit more. See if we can get some more to spawn in. Uh, it just really makes me wonder. Where are they spawning? Because I also saw I saw the remains of one. Where is he digging? I saw the remains of one down here. I saw a slime ball sitting like down there because one would fall. One would I guess would have had to fell, and because they're stupid. But yeah, they're they're spawning somewhere down here. And I don't know if you guys have seen the zombie spawner. We also set up a zombie spawner. Where are these torches go? Holy smokes, man! He has been torching this place up. Um, there should be an easier way. We should dig an easier way to get to this. I mean, it's just a roundabout, really. I mean, probably could just dig straight through from somewhere like over there and get to it, but it is not like that yet. Ooh, but down here, oh, I set up another zombie, or we set up this spawner as a farm as well. Um, I don't have the enchanting table over here. I think I might, what the heck? I think I might go to the skeleton spawner and move that enchanting table over here because they give the same amount of XP and it doesn't make sense to have like the enchanting table so far away when you can do the same thing right here. And I definitely am not using my diamond sword or my diamond axe on these guys. But I still, you're still going to use that skeleton spawner for like arrows and bones and stuff. But it just makes sense to have the enchanting table here and I don't want to be making five enchanting tables. So while we're down here, uh-oh. Open up. Okay, I can foresee that I'm gonna, okay, there we go. Lag out a little bit there. Man, my internet, it was being weird this morning too, actually. It wouldn't load YouTube videos like at all. And it had forever, it took forever to load my Google Drive. So I'm not sure what its deal was. No, not again. Oh. Okay, let's just get out of here. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. What's in here? No, I made the mistake of trying to access that. Oh gosh. Setback lag. Get me out of here, man. Let's go up. We'll go up through Artie's house. Man, this lag is getting the... Oh gosh. Really? Really? Can I go now? Well, this is getting to be a little bit unbearable. You can't do videos whenever... Yeah, you can't do videos when you keep getting teleported back to the furnace. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to figure out this internet thing. And maybe it was a server. I don't know. I need to see if uh, the servers are having issues. But at least we got an episode in. We got our new awesome battle axe. And we got some zombies here. And we have the beginnings of our little corridor area to the path down to the farm. And I showed you guys the outline of the crater. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Leave it a like, subscribe for more videos, check out some of the other videos here on the channel, and follow me on all my social links. They're all in the description below. And so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.